still. Yeah. Yeah. When we get to this point, how excited are you for the opener? Just hurry up and get here. Yeah, man, I'm excited, man. You know, even though they made preseason charter, it still felt pretty long. Uh, you know, this is my 12th year, so you know, preseason is preseason to me. But I think it's good for the guys to you know get that that rhythm, um, conditioning. All those kind of things, and now it's real. So we just got to bring that mindset. I think we did it today in practice. Everybody practiced hard, and uh, I think we're ready to get started. What do you think you guys got out of the preseason? Did you accomplish what you wanted to in the preseason? I think so. I think we had some good games and we had some bad games. So we, we saw what we what we can't do in games in, in order to win. You know, we, we'll lose games, well, a lot of games, if we play the way we did these last these last three preseason games. So we learned from that. We watched a lot of film, and um, I think I think we're ready to take a step forward. Did you see? Did you see any of your young guys make real progress? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, Ji definitely. He uh, he's getting better every day. Um, uh, Markel's getting better every day. Uh, I could go down the line. The whole team Mo Mo's showing a lot of progress. I mean they're young, so um, every year they're gonna take a step further. You know, and it, it could be little things from their bodies to their mindset to just on court skill development. So I'm seeing a lot from everybody. So if you guys been working on the half court offense, trying to make things a little smoother in the last couple of practices. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, preseason we only we only had about five to six plays we ran the entire preseason. So now we're putting in a lot more offense um, and just getting that rhythm of playing together again. You know, it's something that takes time. So um, that's all we're trying to do and uh, just be ready for Cleveland. Coach, just talk. Go back and watch that Toronto tape. Game one. Did you go back and watch that shot again uh, nah, in the summer? I haven't. Well, this summer I, I saw some clips of it, but I haven't really watched the game. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I mean, it was, like, I, like I tell everybody, it was a great, a great moment. Um, but you know, now nah, it's, it's over with. The NBA is. That's the thing about the NBA. You know, you have highs and you have lows, so you can never stay too high, never get too low. You know, you just got to stay even. And um, you know, now nah, I'm just focused on this season. How satisfying was last year as a whole for you personally? I mean, your ability to stay healthy, how effective you were. How satisfying yeah, was it? That was my biggest thing, just being able to be healthy and play all. You know, I missed one game, I think, um, but you know, just being healthy, not not getting injured. Um, Feeling, feeling well enough every game to play at a high level. Um, that was important for me. Um, so I'm just trying to do the same thing this year and be consistent. That's my that's my job, you know, it's, it's not to score or to, to be, you know, nothing I'm not, you know, it's just to be consistent and be a leader. Mm -hmm. Coach has talked about trying getting back to the level that you guys were at last year. And obviously you, you're kind of in the crux of the season when that happened, but yeah. what's the biggest challenge about kind of reaching back and, and getting getting to that level again this early in the year? Yeah, it, it's hard, man. I don't know how to put my, put my finger on it. Like you said, it's a challenge to get back to that. You know, it's been, what, five months since the, mm -hmm. since the season. So uh, we had it rolling. Um, and you know it's just gonna take time for us to get back to that level, and hopefully we can we can turn it on quicker than than, than we did last season. DJ, you're a veteran. You've been around the league. You said this is your fourth season, so playing in the final year of a contract, does that change anything that you do going into this season? Nah, man. I'm, I'm, my job is just like I said to be consistent, um, make shots, make plays, make sure make sure we're organized on offense, and uh, just play the same way I've always played. I never be, really get caught up in contract stuff. And, and, you know, I've been in every situation you could think of in the NBA, so that kind of stuff doesn't get to me. I don't really think about it. Um, when that time comes, it will. Uh, I'm just focused on just getting better every day and helping my team win. What advice have you tried to give to Markel? Uh, you know, just, just stay confident, man. You know, he's playing confident and having fun out there. He, he's an he's a, a amazing player. And, um, you know, he has a lot of pressure on him from the outside, you know, noise, and mm -hmm. he just can't let that affect him. And I think he's, he's having a lot of fun right now. Mm -hmm.